In this video, let's install and test Infinite U, which is an image generation model from ByteDance. Now, with this particular model, with an identity image, you can create various images, you can generate various images with text prompts. And the best thing is that the identity is maintained across these image generations. For example, you have an identity image of Taylor Swift over here and based on different text prompts, for example, like Taylor Swift in a sunflower farm, you get this image, right? Like that, you can generate different images. If you see over here across these images, the face identity is kind of maintained. To install this particular model locally, you would require a GPU instance with at least 48 GB of VRAM. Okay. To understand more about this particular image generation model, I suggest you to uh, have a look at my video. Um, in this video, I have explained about the technical details of this particular image generation model. The key idea over here is that they make use of diffusion transformers, a base diffusion transformer like Flux. They also have another uh, transformer called a diffusion uh, transformer called InfuseNet. This InfuseNet has residual connections with this Flux transformer and via this InfuseNet, they are able to, you know, uh, get the identity into the uh, flux diffusion transformer to maintain the identity across image generation. That is a key idea. Further details, you can check out this video. Now to run this particular uh, model to install it locally and uh, check out, I'm making use of Jarvis AI's GPU instances. They are quite cost effective. So this particular uh, A6000 uh, instance, GPU instance has 48 GB uh, GPU RAM. Okay. And I created uh, a 250 GB uh, storage instance over here with this particular uh, GPU and for it cost me approximately, you know, less than a dollar for one hour of usage. Okay. So I create an instance over here. So if you go to the dashboard over here, you have templates basically. And in the templates, you can choose PyTorch. Okay. And here what I did was I selected the a6000 instance which has got 48 GB VRAM, 32 GB RAM, 7 CPUs and I also increase my uh, hard disk space to close to 250 GB. I gave an instance name and said launch instance. Your instance is launched and then you can go to instances over here and you can click on Jupyter to open a Jupyter notebook which is what I've done. Okay. So once this particular uh, instance has been created, what I do is that I need to do the installation for that. I need to open a terminal over here like this. I can open a terminal and then in the terminal, I copy paste these things. I clone the repository. Uh, then I go into that particular folder. I install all the requirements. I have to also install hugging face hub CLI, basically the hugging face command line interface tool. And then I have to log in over there. I have to give an access token. Okay. Then I've logged into hugging face hub for downloading various models. Okay. So once the models have been uh, downloaded, what I can do is that I can run this particular script over here, which they have in their um, GitHub page. Um, so they have a script over here. Basically, I'm looking for the script, uh, you know, this particular local inference script, right? Python test dot by Yan Lake on resize JPEG. This is the image. And uh, basically the prompt is a man portraitics. Uh, uh, cinematic. Okay. So I have to basically give this Jan Likun input image and my prompt is a man portraitic cinematic. So I tried that particular thing over here. So this is the original Jan Likun image. Okay. Right. And the portrait image, which was generated was this. Okay. So, uh, in this case, it has done a very good job. Now to run this model, it took close to 40, um, five or 44 GB of VRAM over here. Okay. Now let's try to create an image of myself. So basically this is my original image and I'm trying to run it by giving a prompt saying that an old man with spectacles reading a book. 
So this generation typically takes around uh, three minutes to load the model and then run it. The generation is quite fast. The initial loading the model takes some amount of time. And if you were to look at uh, the GPU uh, consumption, slowly it starts increasing and then it goes up to 40 GB or 44 GB when the model is actually loaded. And then uh, it takes around three minutes for it to generate the results. So let's wait for it to generate the results. So for this input image of mine, with the text prompt an old, uh, old man with spectacles reading a book, the generated image from infinite U looks like this. Hopefully I can age gracefully like this. This is a really nice image. I kind of liked it over here. So this is the demo of infinite U on my own custom image. Hopefully this video is useful to you. You can also try locally this particular image generation model. All you need is a GPU instance with at least 45 GB or 48 GB of VRAM, GPU VRAM, right? So you can uh, access or you can create instances over here on Jarvis Lab at very reasonable rates um, for GPU instances. And you can try out this particular model. Hope this video is useful to you on Infinite.